Uh, welcome to Steinberg stand at Musik Messe 2008. Uh, my name is Angus Bajant and uh, I'm here to give you a, a quick demo of two products which we're launching. At, uh, we're doing a technical preview of at Musik Messe. The first one of these two is a CC121 Advanced Integration Controller. And what this is, is a combination of two sorts of control. One, dedicated functions for Cubase uh, parameters. It's dedicated for Cubase uh, controller. On left here you see a full section with uh, track controls and these correspond exactly to the track controls in Cubase. I can use the channel select to flick through the different parameters. All the track controls here are mirrored exactly in the hardware. I've got a pan control here, read write automation, solo, mute, open the channel, window and so on. And what you can see here is we've got a complete section of the EQ in hardware in the unit as well as transport control. So these are actually dedicated controls for the Cubase uh, controls. So I can just keep focused all the time on my projects um, so I don't, I don't have to um, look at the control to see what uh, parameter it's uh, set to because it's always set to the dedicated controls. Very important. Here I've got uh, switchable uh, activation switches for each of the four bands. I've got a bypass switch. Uh, and here I've got a full transport section as well. Um, now, uh, very special new feature we've got is the right hand side of the unit. What we've got here is uh, a new uh, rotary control knob called the AI knob and what we do is it will pick up the uh, parameter to control from the mouse pointer. So I can keep focus at on Cubase at all times and the controller will pick up any parameter I have the mouse over within Cubase. And this also works for the built-in uh, VST3 plugins in Cubase as well. If I want to uh, lock a certain parameter, I want to move the mouse away, I just press the lock button, and now that parameter that I selected before with just having the mouse over, no click, is still controlled by the knob. If I unlock it, then it's ready to go back to any parameter that is presented to me in the Cubase user interface. If I want to, um, it also doubles as a jog wheel, so I just select jog, and it's a full jog wheel within Cubase. And here on the top are four extra switches that I can assign to any Cubase function from the menus at all, and a rotary encoder as well. And between these two, I have the mouse on my right-hand side, and my dedicated controls, and my AI knob on the left-hand side, and I'm focused all the time on my production. I don't have to check what settings are, are, are being made, which parameters are these controls assigned to, because it's all either dedicated or um, set by, by mouse control. So it's very immersive. I can work on my production. I'm not taking out the creative process. Um, I'm just working within uh, QAs all the time, keeping my attention clearly focused on my, on my product or on the project all the time.